Hi, this is Brendan with Alpine Oxygen and alpineoxygen.net. We rent oxygen concentrators in the resort markets of Colorado. Today we will be discussing our 10 liter, two person concentrator unit. When your concentrator arrives at your hotel, condo, or private residence, it should be set up similar to the way this one is set up currently. The first thing we want to do is plug the unit into a power We will now test that there is power by turning the unit on using the power button on the right hand side. The unit will make a short audible beep to let you know that it is currently working. If the unit is not plugged into power or the power is not good on that outlet, when you turn the unit on it will make a continuous audio beep. In this situation, the hotel, condo, or private residence probably has a switched outlet. Roll the whole unit across the room and plug into a different outlet that is not switched. You can then test this outlet the same way by plugging it in and turning it on. If it makes the short beep and then comes on, you know you have good power. Let's look and see what's in the supplies bag. Our units come with a number of different supplies. We have two nasal cannulas in the bag, one bubble humidifier. Attached to the unit, we have a 15 foot supply tubing with a seven foot nasal cannula. We also have a non rebreathing mask, a supplies baggie with a Y adapter, a green adapter Christmas tree, and two tubing connectors. The final piece that will be in your supplies bag will be a four foot tube with the Y attached to it already. For a single user, we will power on the unit and pull out the nasal cannula. The nasal cannula has two prongs on it. These prongs are slightly curved. The curved side should face your nose prongs go up the nose with the tubing hung behind your ears so that it drapes under your chin. You can now adjust the tension using a little plastic slider under your chin. For a single user, I recommend two to two and a half for nighttime use or three and a half to four and a half for daytime use. 30 to 60 minutes two to three times a day and sleep with it overnight for best results. Let's check out how we'd set up our dual user. At this point, we're going to remove the 15 foot extension from the bubble humidifier bottle. We're going to take our four foot with Y attached and place that on the bubble humidifier. On one side of the Y, we will place our 15 foot tubing extension with cannula attached and on the other side we will place a secondary nasal cannula. In this setup the person on the side of the bed using the machine can take the shorter nasal cannula. The 15 foot extension tubing can be wrapped around the headboard to the bed to the other side and the person on the far side of the bed will then get a, a nasal cannula on their side of the bed. This is handy when two people are using the unit at the same time. When using this setup, please raise the oxygen supply rate to approximately five for nighttime use. Make sure that each user is not getting too much oxygen blown up their nasal cavity and is not uncomfortable. For daytime use, you may bring that to 8 to 10 LPM. Make sure that you do not exceed 10 LPM on these units or the unit will make a beeping alarm sound. If it makes a beeping alarm sound and it is above 10, gradually reduce the oxygen concentrator flow until it stops beeping. The last setup using the 10 liter concentrator would be a bag mask. The bag mask is especially useful for somebody that is extremely sick or somebody that you're cautious about and want to make sure that they get the most amount of oxygen in the shortest amount of time. We're going to remove the bubble humidifier from the unit. 
and we're going to remove the small green Christmas tree looking attachment. We're going to place the green Christmas tree attachment on the oxygen outlet nipple. We're then going to re remove our bag mask from the bag and attach that to the green Christmas tree. Power on the unit and raise the flow rate to approximately 10. As we discussed earlier, we do not want to over overload the machine. So keep a good eye on it so that the ball rests just below the 10 line. We can then hold our finger over the check valve to make sure that the bag fills properly. Once the bag is filled, we can place the unit on the mask on our face. Adjust using the straps. Finally, pinch the nose so that you have a good seal. Then continue to breathe normally. The oxygen mask is wonderful for getting the most amount of oxygen to you in the least amount of time. One final note on the oxygen concentrator. The bubble humidifier will occasionally need to be filled after approximately 24 to 36 hours of continuous use. The bubble humidifier has two lines, minimum and maximum. In order to fill the bubble humidifier, remove the whole bubble humidifier from the unit. Empty or clean the bubble humidifier container. Refill using 8 to 12 ounces of lukewarm tap water. If you have distilled water available, that is better. Place the lid on the canister and thread correctly. Make sure the unit is not cross-threaded. Place the bulb humidifier back on the oxygen outlet nipple. Also make sure this, this connector is not cross-threaded and is tight but not over tight. You can tell that it is properly attached when you turn the unit on. If you hold your finger over the outlet nipple on the bubble humidifier, it should make a good seal. You should not hear air coming from any of the other seals on this unit. That's your instructions on how to use our 10 liter oxygen concentrator. We hope that you have a great vacation. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please call Alpine Oxygen at 970-925 five one two five